In this episode of Inspiration, we're taking a closer look at the Alchemy Advanced Course Pioneering Leadership, and specifically, one of the 12 inspiring women who courageously said yes to doubling down on themselves as a leader and venturing into uncharted territory, ultimately creating a new future for themselves. Check it out. When you hear the phrase leadership pioneer, what comes to mind for you? So when I think of the phrase leadership pioneer, I really think of someone who inspires other people to break barriers or enter new territory or try something new or do something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I love what you said about break barriers. Yeah. Like someone like leadership for me is all about inspiring people and at Alchemy you always say, it's your responsibility to inspire. And that to me is so like, I have it on on, um, a post-it note next to my computer because it's something I have to remember to do. And so I think when you pair leadership with pioneer, that's what you're doing. You're inspiring other people to break barriers, to do things new, to do things differently, to potentially go through hardships, to get to where they wanna be, um, to break those barriers and take risks and be resilient and all those things that make a leader a leader and a pioneer a pioneer. Oh, I love that. And for our viewers who haven't heard our story before, as we were talking about how you have lower back problems because you've been sitting in this chair that's not conducive to a pandemic work from home and being that leadership is our own responsibility. What's like one source of inspiration for you, Bryn, in this, what I call new now? Oh, geez. Honestly, I've been working out a lot and I feel like that just is me time. And, and that's kind of like where I start thinking, you know, like about myself, what I want to do, where I want to go about this process, about um, my career and, and my personal life. Like those are the times where like I get time to think about oh, yeah. everything other than this pandemic. Yeah. Um, and I think I get a lot of inspiration there. And I think I get a lot of inspiration from the women that are also in this experience to see people so open and vulnerable so strong it's so inspiring to see people open up like that um, on our monthly calls yeah absolutely i couldn't agree more and the courage to take the time and make exercising a priority for you is like a powerful choice that we can make as a leader it really is great so one other question for you so one of the ways that we define a pioneer is someone who's that who who is willing to endure hardship to explore new territory. So Bryn, you said yes to this advanced course. So what are you willing to endure and or what's the new territory you're committed to discovering? So this question's a hard question for me because the word endure sounds like really heavy. Yeah. No, and scary. And Also, we learned at Alchemy is that everything we do is our choice. We don't want to be in a situation. We have the right to get up and leave. It's our Mm -hmm. choice to be working until seven. It's our choice to say yes to things. It's our choice to say no to things. It's our choice to do everything. So Um, I learned that like, I'm not enduring anything. There's nothing negative about it. It's almost like a positive. And I think that that's kind of where I had to change my, my mindset when we talked about hardships and enduring because they're not negative. They're, they're positive for me because taking on all these new things because I want to explore new territory. So um, I think that this came at such a perfect time for me because I just started school whenever you guys reached out and I'm getting my MBA and I'm in sales. There's absolutely zero like reason for me to be getting an MBA right now. Um, and everyone is like, why are you doing this? It has nothing to do with your career, like so much more work. And it is so much more work, but like I said, it was my choice. And to say that it's a hardship or enduring is, is crazy because I want to be doing it. Um, but it is hard. It's time consuming and it's using a different side of my brain that I feel like I haven't used since high school. Um, and it's not knowing, you know, the not knowing. Like I, I feel like I'm 15 years in my job. I know what I'm doing. I know everything. So this new territory of not knowing anything and, and, and having to study and work hard for it, like that's something that I'm willing to endure because I know at the other side, of this, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do. And it might be exactly what I'm doing now, but I might have a better way or a different way that changes not only what I'm doing, my team's doing, but like maybe the industry, like who knows? It's like limitless. 
Oh, those are type of things that I'm like really looking forward to. Oh yeah. Well, just to reflect on what I'm hearing you say first, I love that you're slowing down the words, you know, hardship and endure because at the alchemy group, we say your words create your world. So it's beautiful that you're like, I'm not going to proclaim that I'm enduring something. And yet what you've pivoted into is like the opening to see that what you're willing to um, explore is the unknown. Like the, when you don't, when you can't forecast what's going to happen and we can't predict the future, that can be so scary. And, and you're willing to take on the uncomfortableness that comes with the unknown. Absolutely. And, and you're right, like on the other side of that is gold. Right. It's gorgeous. I'm really excited about it. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Interested in watching other episodes? You can find them all at our website at www.thealchemyleaders.com. Or better yet, follow us on Instagram at underscore the alchemy group underscore. There you will be the first to know when the latest episodes of Inspiration drop. Now above all else, be sure to share this episode and any other episodes with another leader who could potentially use an extra dose of inspiration today.